Hello, it is Heather from Mindset Made Better. Welcome back to our channel. And if you're new here, welcome. On this channel, we talk all about self-improvement as well as tips and tricks on how to live your best life. We created this channel to go in depth on our articles over on mindsetmadebetter.com. And over there, you will find quotes of wisdom about every aspect of life and they go back as far as ancient times. We take these great quotes and apply the teachings from them to modern life. So if you enjoy this kind of content, you have come to the right place. Each week we do a video where we do a deep dive into a particular topic. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Today's quote is, you have to train your mind to be stronger than your emotions or else you'll lose yourself every time. And when I started writing the post, immediately the basic principles of dialectical behavioral therapy or DBT for short came to mind. These are life skills that we'll get to in a little bit, but first let's talk about emotions. Our emotions have the ability to influence everything in our lives. It can be a wonderful thing if balanced with being rational, but when our emotions run unchecked, it can lead to a lot of unexpected problems, drama, and stress. And studies have shown that emotional stress has been linked to not only mental health issues, but physical health problems as well. Poor emotional health can put you at risk for a compromised immune system, heart disease, gastrointestinal distress, and all sorts of other issues. But the good news is that researchers are now seeing evidence that when we are in a healthier mental space, we can experience healing effects within our bodies. And we've known how powerful our minds are and how they're connected to our body. We've seen it play out with super negative people. Have you ever noticed how negative people tend to suffer from many physical ailments? We've also seen it play out with a law of attraction. What we believe about ourselves and the world, we create in our life. We actually manifest it. And I'll be doing a separate video on this in the future because this topic is fascinating. We have the power to harness what we believe about ourselves and the world around us and use that to our benefit and the benefit of others. So if we have the ability to directly influence our mental and physical health with our emotions and beliefs, both positive and negative, we need to understand how to temper our emotions with logic when we feel out of control. We need to learn to hold on to ourselves in the chaos of our emotions and prevent them from running the show. So like I said before, today's quote immediately made me think of DBT skills. And when I was in my early 20s, I was seeing a therapist who suggested that I take DBT classes to manage my anxiety and excessive worry. DBT is a type of cognitive behavioral therapy that focuses on four skills, mindfulness, emotion regulation, distress tolerance, and interpersonal effectiveness. I had two classes a week in the evenings. One was kind of instructional where we learned the skills and the other was more of a process group where we talked about how we were or weren't in some cases implementing the skills that we were learning into our lives. And although DBT was originally intended to help treat borderline personality disorder, it has become widely used to treat all sorts of conditions like anxiety, eating disorders, substance abuse, PTSD, etc. There has also been a movement in the psychology field for children to learn these skills at a young age because unfortunately, many people don't learn these life skills until they are much older. I highly recommend looking into DBT and researching it yourself to see if it's something that may be helpful for you if you're struggling with handling your emotions effectively. I can tell you that when I took the class, I was in a bad place. I was crippled with worry and tried to control things that were way outside of my control. And understanding a better way to process my emotions helped me immensely and I've been able to quickly identify when I'm starting to lose myself in a situation. So today I'm going to do a very broad overview 
of the four components of DBT. Now each component has a lot to it, so this is truly just meant to be a general overview to introduce you to DBT if you've never heard of it before. If you guys are interested in me breaking down each component, I can do that in future videos. Maybe I'll do a four part series for each one. Just let me know if you would like to see that in the comments down below. Okay, so the first skill is mindfulness, and this is probably the most important skill because you learn how to stay in the moment. Feelings of anxiety are about the future and feelings of shame or guilt are usually about the past. So training your mind to stay in the present allows you to better understand what's really going on inside of you at the moment. You learn how to observe or notice these feelings in the present in a non-judgmental way. It allows you to slow things down and get into a good headspace to deal with your emotions effectively. Number two is emotion regulation, and these are skills to more effectively navigate your feelings. You learn how to identify your emotions, recognize and reduce your emotional vulnerabilities, and implement a behavior change to help regulate your initial emotion. For example, if you feel sad and just want to be alone, one skill you learn to do is opposite action, which would actually be reaching out to people and attempting to connect with them. Number three distress tolerance. Distress tolerance skills help you tolerate or survive the crisis that's happening. Here you learn how to effectively distract yourself, how to self-soothe, how to improve the moment by focusing on what you can control and thinking of the pros and cons of a response. And number four, interpersonal effectiveness. This component helps you be more assertive in your relationships. You can say no when you want to say no, and how to handle conflict while maintaining a healthy relationship. The focus is on three things, your objective, so what you want in the interaction, your self-respect, so the values and beliefs that you want to uphold, and your relationship, so the valid needs of others. For example, one of the skills for interpersonal effectiveness and how you interact with others is called GIVE, and it stands for G, be gentle. Treat the other person with respect, avoid attacks and judgmental statements. I, show interest. Listen to the other person to hear, not just to respond. Don't interrupt. V, validate. Show through words and actions that you understand the other person's thoughts, feelings and opinions about the situation and then e having an easy manner respond with smiling and using a light-hearted humorous tone so there is a great resource called the dbt skills training handouts and worksheet workbook that goes into details about all the skills we just talked about and the book is massive it is meant to be used in a clinical setting but it is a great guide to help you apply dbt skills to your life it is super helpful i will link the workbook in the description box down below if you're interested in checking it out to see if it's right for you but this is all I have for today. Thank you so much for spending time with me and for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'll be putting out a video at least once a week and you can also check out our daily posts over on mindsetmadebetter.com, which I will link in the description box down below. So until next time, stay healthy, stay positive, and remember that you have the ability to control your emotions and thinking. Don't allow someone else or a situation to have that control over you. We'll see you next time.